Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are. The name is Patricia Munetsi. Today we are going to be um, dwelling on training. The question is how to get rich? How to get rich? Training is enabling people to get rich. Because without training, you will not get rich. It is my belief that anyone reasonable with reasonable intelligence can, be, can become rich if they get sufficient motivation and application. So there's no reason why one shouldn't get rich. This is why we need to do this training. And um, I'm surprised people come late for training. I don't understand why, but um, this is the only reason why. And this is one of the things that makes us different from the normal pyramids that people talk about because we train people how to do the business. So now to start with, there's this issue of pyramid has been going on, on and on and on. People get asked this question left, right and center. And is this a pyramid, Abhi Travels, is it a pyramid? No, 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 it's not a pyramid. Pyramids are there, everywhere in life there are pyramids, but people don't understand that. In an organization, there's the CEO at the top, and then there is the senior managers under him. Under the senior managers, then we have the operatives, then we have uh, the supervisors, then we have the shop floor. That's a pyramid. And then in church, we have the senior pastor. Then we have the other pastors. And then we have the elders, head elder, elders. And then we have the church congregation. That's a pyramid on its own. Even at home, there is the father there. Then there is mother. Then there is the, the, the elderly siblings. Then there are the toddlers. That's a pyramid on its own. But the pyramid that people talk about is a, a unique pyramid. And when you hear people say, is it a pyramid? They're asking for something else more than what I have explained. So now, what is a pyramid? How do you differentiate a pyramid that they are talking about with our business, which is multi-level marketing? Now, my understanding is, in normal cases, when somebody asks me if it is a pyramid, I ask them what a pyramid is. And I've not heard any answer from anyone. They don't know what it is, but they just love saying, is it a pyramid? So if we, with a pyramid, um, they have no obvious product. They don't have products. And they encourage people to invest large sums of money. People invest as, as uh, big amounts as 3,000 and above. And there is continual reinvestment in pyramids because you are asked to invest and invest because like if you put in the $3,000, then you are asked to enroll maybe four people before you start getting any commission. And then you reinvest and reinvest but with our program, we have products, the three products that we always sing about. And our starting point is as low as $35. It's not huge. It's not a large investment. And the pyramids, they promise large earnings with little effort. They promise you heaven when in a pyramid. But with us, you hear me every day. I tell people that if you want to end, you have to work. You will not end if you don't work. So that's another difference between MLM and the pyramids that they talk about. MLM is multi-level marketing, which is what we are doing. And there is poor or not even non-existent training in pyramids. There is no training at all. But with us, we have set aside a day today to be a training day so that we make sure that every everyone who joins our company 
they know what it is about. They know the systems, they know the products and they know the benefits. So this is what we need to hammer in our people so that they know what's the difference between a pyramid and MLM. And often, more, more than often, the pyramid people, they are very aggressive in their approach. And sometimes they even give false information and false deadlines just to put fear in people so that they can join quickly. So with us, this is why I always tell people that just be truthful. If they don't want to join, let them go. But just tell the truth. Don't lie to the customers because once you start doing that, <coughs> you are guessing you're going into the trap of uh, a pyramid. With L MLM, there is no startup and earnings are, are earned from direct sales or recruiting direct recruitment. And we have comprehensive training just for people to know what they are up to, what they have joined and why, how they will make the money. And with MLM, it presents opportunities and we explain how it works. This is why every day we have a presentation at seven o'clock because we are trying to hammer into people's heads what Apitavos is and what Apitavos does and what Apitavos doesn't do. So this is about pyramids. So the next time somebody asks you about the pyramid, have those points in mind. You need to, to know those points at your fingertips. There is a presentation which has a comparison of MLM and pyramids. I'm going to put it on the group again after this presentation so that people know what to say and what it is. Because sometimes even the people in our organization, they get confused. They also think, oh yeah, Okay, I think we are a pyramid. No, not in that sense which they say it. We are a pyramid, yes, because we have the CEO at the top and we have the VIP people and then we have all those other people below us. So we are a pyramid in a sense, but not the pyramid that they talk about. Now, how quickly can one get rich? Quicker than you probably deserve, but slower than what you would like. There are too many definitions for that. Because in a pyramid, like I said, they promise people to get rich very quickly. But now I'm talking about us. How quickly do you get rich? You only get rich when you work and you can get rich. And there's no definition of you being rich because some people can get rich within, within a week or less than a week or more than 10 years. I'll just give you an example of Innocent. Innocent got to $1,000 within three weeks. Whereas I got to $1,000 after four months, but we were selling the same products. We were using the same language and we were talking to people just like he was doing. So this is why when we get to the question of how can I become, how quickly can I become rich? Yes, you can become rich very quickly and, or very slowly. There are no shortcuts in MLM. You can get it if you really want it. Felix Denis said, if I did it, you can do it. He says he was a pauper living in a crummy room, no pots to cook, he had no money for rent. There was not even a toilet seat for him to sit. I think he was using the bush system. I'm not too sure whether there was a bush there where he was living. But what he says is, if he managed to get rich, you can also get rich. He had no clue of getting rich. So we have no clue of getting rich. How are we going to get rich? But with what we are doing every day, what we are being shown every day in those presentations is a way for us to get rich. What we are just simply saying is, if you want to get rich, you need to follow the system. And when we say follow the system, guys, we mean it. We really mean that you need to follow the system. 
And what is the system we are talking about? We have a, a game plan that we, we give to every member that joins. If you have joined the organization and your upliner is not giving you a game plan, please ask for one. But we have sent it several times on the group. And when you see something that is helpful on the group, you need to take a screenshot and keep it somewhere in your phone so that you can always go back to that uh, item and read it again and again for it to help you to get rich. So in this business of ours, we need to get rich the olden way, the old school way. And what is the old school way? Director, please help and mute, mute. What is the old way of getting rich? You can make mistakes, get over the mistakes, learn from those mistakes and start moving again. Where there is no, where there is no success, where there is success, there is a failure. Where there is no failure, there is no success. You can never know whether you have succeeded if you have never failed before. So you need to learn, you need to make lots of mistakes, you need to have lots of objections for you to be able to get a yes. Now, getting to objections now. What do you do when you get objections? You need to love objections. Because if you don't fall in love with, with objections, you will stop prospecting. And once you stop prospecting, you are going out of the business, you are giving up. So what needs to be done is when you, you come into this business, you have to leave your emotions aside. Put your emotions somewhere, hide them somewhere. Because I get a lot of people who say, ah, I have talked to many people and they're just saying no. And yet they've just talked to two friends or maybe just 10 friends and they've said no and they're stressing about it. I've told you before, there was a guy on GoPro who said he had 4,000 objections and he only had 550 yeses. Those were his signups. So imagine having, excuse me, can you mute yourself? Can you mute yourself? Please send them a message. So I was saying, if you don't put your emotions aside and not stressing about the laws, then you're starting to be in business. Because if you ask yourself, what massive action have I done? What massive action have I taken ever since I joined the company? Can you recall and record the massive action that you have taken ever since you joined the company. I want to give you an example of one guy. He said he's not new in the network marketing business, but that really uh, proved his point because when he joined Apitables and because he had not known the system yet, not even the products, what he did the very same day that he joined, he gave me 10 prospects to talk to. And I said to myself, this guy. And then only to find out that he was in the network marketing before. That's why he knew what to do. So now for the new people who are in the business now, once you join the company, you need to make a massive immediate action. Because when you don't make immediate action, what happens is the zero dwindles as you go on, as you go on. If you don't put your first uh, sign up within 24 hours, by the time you get to the end of the week, the enthusiasm that you had when you joined, it will be different. Just check, just check on it. And so how many people have you invited to attend Zoom meetings? And if they haven't, if you invite them and they don't attend the Zoom meeting, do you make an effort of going back to them, giving them the recording 
and making sure that they've listened to the recording. Don't just throw a recording to somebody and say, there's a recording. You must make an effort to make sure that they are listening and they watch the recording. If you can, just tell them, let's put time aside. Let's watch together. You watch on your side and I watch on my side. And then after the, the, the recording, then we can discuss. You really need to make an effort. And the other question that you need to ask yourself is, how many of your affiliates have pocketed money? I told you yesterday that I ran away from the other company because most of my affiliates had not pocketed any money. I was getting money, I was happy, yes. But I was not really happy deep down because I'm a people person. I want people to make money and I want people to be in business to make money. This is why people get into business. But if you're in business, you're just pocketing the money, you're being selfish. And by being selfish, you don't get blessings. We get blessed for what we do. And if you don't give, you don't get. So if you don't make, if you don't make sure that your affiliates are putting money in your pocket, just watch yourself. One day, you will not be able to put money in your pocket. That's when you find some people go for a stretch of two, three months without any sale. Because you are not getting, you are not reaping what you are sowing. You need to reap what you sow. So the other thing that stops us from uh, uh, getting our affiliates to put money in the pocket is, do we know how to duplicate? Do you have duplicated duplication abilities? What does that mean? What you are doing to enroll people should be cascaded down to your affiliates for them to be able to also find people. Don't be the only us in your team because you will get worn out, you will burn out. And at the end of the day, everything crumbles. And the other thing is, do you, do you tap onto your leaders or even some of the um, not leaders in the team there are some brilliant people in the team who are not even leaders. When Innocent joined, he was in Afghanistan then. He was still very new, fairly new. I think it was about two weeks. He was just about two weeks old in the, in the business. But when we were making strategies, he used to bring in very brilliant ideas. And some of the ideas we've implemented, we're still using them up, to, up, to, up until now but he was still new in the in the business we were not calling him a leader then because he was still somebody who was learning so i'm trying to say whoever is in the team tap on them if you don't know something if i'm not available just ask anyone that you can get hold of anyone that you see online because they might even have more brilliant ideas than me silver dennis and all the other leaders that you know and then the other thing, most important, once you get to join this organization, do you know the seven basics? And these best seven basics, you find them on that game plan that I talked about earlier on. That's where you find the seven basics. You need to have them at your fingertips. If you don't know how to create a why, and if you can't invite, then you haven't started the business. You are still new. You just need to invite for people to attend to presentations. Unless if you are able to present, then you can invite and present. Are you closing? Closing is the asking for man. If you're not closing, then you're not asking for man. And closing very often, when you get asked the question, you answer that question and close again. You ask, you ask another question, answer the question and close again until you get to a point where uh, the prospect does not have any more questions. And then you go, yes, are you in? And then sometimes they confirm that they are in. Sometimes they give you uh, a sit and wait, answer, but you would have closed. If you don't close, you don't get the man. Then when you join this um, business, you just have to do it. I always say, just do it. I was talking to 
my daughter's friend this evening, and she was saying, ah, will I be able to recruit? And I said, when an opportunity comes your way, grab it just to eat, and then you learn along the way. So now, for you to be able to just do it, what do you do? You want to know how to get rich. We're talking about how to get rich today. You want to get rich. Do you believe in what you are doing? And be, do you believe that it can be done? I've always said, your body, your voice, your, the way you're speaking to someone, it really relates to what you are saying. People can tell that you are not confident. People can tell that you know it can be done and you are saying it can be done. How can you tell somebody that it can be done when you are saying in whatever way you are portraying it that it can be done? So you believe it can be done yourself first before you even start talking to someone. Practice in your bedroom, go onto the mirror and convince yourself that it can be done. Have a convincing face. And then, do you have goals? Why are you in this business? Right now, we've got an influx of uh, students on our team. And they want money, pocket money. They want, some of them want fee, even fees. Some of them, they just want to be entrepreneurs so that when they leave their college, they have some, somewhere to start. So you, are in this business, what do you want? What are your goals? Do you know your goals? And you need to live your life to the full when you are in this business. Don't live in dribs and dribs and dribs because the life that you are going to be showing people is the life that they will envy. And that's the life that they are going to admire and that is why they will come to join you. They will not join you because there is eight streams of income. They will not join you because there is VIP or there is even up. They will join what they are seeing in you. You are going to be the letter that they are going to be reading. And if a letter doesn't have good news, you just throw it in the bin or you just tear it up. So the other thing that you just really need to get to bear in mind is you should never give up. Giving up network marketing is just the beginning of giving up everything in your life. Imagine you go to school before you even get to grade seven, say school is boring and you give up. And maybe you try and go to uh, all, level, all level and then school is boring and then you give up. Everything that you will do in life, if you start giving up, it will be habit and habits grow and habits tend to be what you are. So if you think of giving up in this business, then you are just destroying yourself. You have no future because everything that you are going to attempt, you are going to, to give up. So what you need to do is to prepare well for this business. Once you are in this business, go and uh, uh, visit the back office, train yourself with the videos that are there, attend such training like today, and talk to people who have been in the business. Listen to, um, to the audios, to the uh, pod what podcast, and listen to people like Liz Brown, listen to people like uh, um, Sachin Govenda, Matt Morris, all those great people and many others that have been, that have started from very low to very high. Most of them now are millionaires. Follow those people. Don't follow people who are MIT or those uh, comedians. Don't waste your time following those people. Follow the people who are doing what you are aiming to do. Follow their levels where they started from and where they are now and aim to be in one of those levels. And have faith in yourself. Because if you don't have faith in yourself, then there's nothing. You're just wasting your time. And most of all, let's help each other. This is why we are different from any other companies because we are a people help people program. 
and we are a people help people in whatever we do. This is why you find some of the leaders, they don't sleep because they are trying to help people. I never say, no, I can't do this because I don't know how to do it. I will just give it a go. Whatever I do, I just give it a go. A, a go. And if you want to get rich, just do it. How do you speak to yourself? If you want to get rich, how do you speak to yourself? Do you read, do you read poverty scripts? And in, in many families, we are teaching our children to read poverty slips, uh, uh, scripts because we don't tell them that people should be rich. So what are you talking to yourself about every day? What affirmations do you give yourself? What affirmations do you say to yourself? Now I have one that I was taught by my leader, Silver, that I'm going to be a millionaire. And yes, I'm going to be a millionaire. And this is why I'm talking to you guys, because we want to be millionaires together. And I cannot be a millionaire on my own. I want to be a millionaire with all of you, with all of us. And I find people saying they want to be rich. And when you ask them to, to join, or maybe they actually join, they will tell you that they can't recruit. Like this girl I talked to this evening, she said to me, what if I can't recruit? A mind led negativity. I'll give you a, 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 a scenario. When a child is born, do they ask their mother, Kuti, what if I can't eat? Why are you giving birth to me? Be, giving birth to me? What if I can't talk? What if I can't walk? What if I can't grow? Do you, have you ever had children asking those questions? And that child will be asking whether they can't feed, they, they can feed when they have not even tried to, to suckle, to bring the milk out. So how do you ask such a question? And then another one, another scenario is when somebody uh, I've, I've, in our culture, when you get to about 30 years, people start telling you that ah, you're, you are grown up, you're too old, you need to marry. And some people will ask them, I don't have a girlfriend. Okay, they'll say, okay, we'll find a friend, a girlfriend for you. I don't have money. Okay, we'll give you money to marry. And then the, the person asks, okay, you've, you've given me money, you found a wife for me, so is the wife pregnant? How? You want money, you want us to look for a, a wife, and you want us to impregnate your wife so that you can have a baby. So this is the same thing that happens when somebody uh, joins the company. They want the, the upliner to look for people and donate to them. I like a scenario where the upliner voluntarily, voluntarily donates the person to a downliner because they are building their team. And not for the uh, find a person to give a condition that if you sign me up, um, uh, are you going to find somebody for me? And you just hear somebody saying, ah, I have signed up, you made me sign up, but you're not giving me any other people to join me. No, it doesn't work like that. When a child is born, is that child's duty to suckle the milk to come out from the breast of a mother? Because if that child, the baby doesn't do that, it will die of hunger. The milk will be there, and the mother will be there, the mouth will be there, and the tongue will be there for the child to do the suckling of the milk. And if they don't do that, they will die of hunger. So this is the same, it applies the same way in this business of ours. If you join, find ways of being able to recruit. Don't be negative all the time. You know, you know people, they just live in the dark and they just read poverty scripts because they don't want to navigate new ideas. They don't want to navigate new ways of doing things. The old way of just going to work, get a contract, sign it, start working, get a pay, and then you retire. That's all we need, that's what we want. And now in this group, we've got youngsters. We are training these youngsters to be entrepreneurs. 
So if an elderly like me is head asking for somebody to donate a person to me, what is the young person going to learn from us? I'm getting emotional, I'm so sorry, but I'm trying to say, when you join the network marketing business, you need to be independent. You need to stand by yourself. You need to just revise yourself and think positively. What was I talking about today? I was talking about how to get rich. If you want to get rich, you need to enjoy the business of making money. You need to be passionate about making money. You need to just love making money. And when people talk to you about pyramids, have the answers. Love objections and follow the system. We, have, we all have no clue of getting rich, but because we are reading, we are listening, and we can see, then that's where we are getting the clue to get rich. We need to make massive actions immediately. Massive action immediately. Soon after you have been enrolled, you will never be the same again. And if you make sure that your, your downliners, they make sure that they put money in their pocket with just the first two people, they will not leave the company because they know it happens. There's this guy who is in Kuwait. He made his first commission today and he was very happy, very, very happy. And we advised him to, to, to buy a, another package and he said, wait, wait, my sister. I just want people to see the money before I use it. So you see the excitement. I could even feel the excitement while I'm in Zimbabwe and he's there out there in, in Kuwait. He's showing off with the, with the money that he's got. So if he can show off with the first hundred dollars that he got today, what if he gets thousands? What if he gets millions? So you need to have an excitement and duplicate, tap on others, not the seven basics and just do it. How do you speak to yourself? What are affirmations are you giving yourself? Do you have a mind-led negativity? The last thing that I'm going to say to you is don't ask for a pregnant wife. Prospect, recruit, get commissions, and get rich. We all want to get rich. I want to get rich with everyone. I don't want to get rich on my own. So guys, this is my training today. If there's still time, we can have questions from the floor. Director, please direct me. Is there any time Wonderful. for questions? You, there's uh, four minutes. That was a powerful, powerful presentation. Yes, hey, uh, time flies, time flies. Uh, let me invite, maybe we can invite uh, the panel if there's anyone. With one. A, we've got four minutes, maybe just... anyone with a question from the attendance. Okay, Kundai has to leave, he's got an appointment. Okay, that, that's great, Kundai. Thank you for joining me, one of the regular ones. Um, anyone else with any question, uh, any clarification? That was a powerful uh, presentation, Director. Thank you. Training indeed. If there are no questions, probably people didn't hear anything. No, they or maybe it was too clear to be asked again. <laughs> so maybe you can wrap up director and um, close the meeting for us. Yes, 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 powerful. That, that was a very powerful presentation. That's why we said that we need to, to train insane, otherwise we'll remain the same. Because people who are trained, uh, they earn 10 times more than those who are not trained. But at the end of the day, we have to understand that no matter what you do, there's always a wrong way or a right, and a right way of doing anything. So if you, are, you want to be a doctor, you go to doctor school. If you want to be a nurse, you go to nurse school. If you want to be a teacher, go to teacher school. So this is the training for us, for our business, so that we can have the correct mindset, like what uh, Director Patricia has been impacting to us. So this is what we need. And uh, right now, I think our time is, is, is getting finished. So thank you for your time. And uh, whenever there's another training again,
stay tuned and uh, try to make it an effort to attend because on Wednesday, I think we've got another training. Uh, do you have the slide for our YouTube channel director? The next slide or is only one slide? Uh, I've got this, just this slide. Okay, all right, okay, no, that's fine. So thank you very much and shout out to Isabel. Thank you very much, Isabel. Let's, let, let's win, we want you to win big and uh, create this dinner. You want to be one of the millionaires. So well done, uh, Isabel. All right, Director, I think uh, we can wrap it up and uh, we don't have time now. It's going to cut any time. Okay, we just want to thank everyone for attending the call. And uh, please invite, uh, whenever you hear there's a meeting, a, a training meeting, invite your affiliates. Every Wednesday, we are going to have training meetings. So please, if you want to grow big, if you want to get rich, uh, invite your affiliates to the meetings. Thank you very much and share this one with them so that they know they have lost and next time they will make a date. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Patricia Mnetsi here. Bye.